saw the executive order and it was like, you know, exactly what you would have thought. We want to make it safe for investors. We want to lead in innovation, but uh, we want to make sure we have the right kind of regulation that protects people. We want to, you know, protect the environment. All the normal things that, but not very specific. Very early this morning, someone from the office of Janet Yellen leaked out a memo stating her support for Joe Biden's executive order about crypto regulation. So let's take a quick look at what she said. What they're saying is that this is responsible innovation. President Biden will sign this executive order today, calling for just that in the crypto industry. The White House is directing a government-wide audit of the risks and potential benefits focused on a list of six key priorities. And those are consumer and investor protection, financial stability, illicit finance, U.S. competitiveness, equity and inclusion, and a host of other factors like privacy, security, and climate. A lot of this is just fluff, telling various agencies like the Commerce Department and other regulators to get their ducks in a row to make some laws in the coming years. Overall, it's positive for crypto, but it's also laying the groundwork for a potential FedCoin CBDC in the coming years. I doubt any U.S. CBDC will arrive during the Biden administration. Changing an entire monetary system takes a lot of time, but the groundwork is being laid. The White House said that they were having extensive engagement with the industry before announcing this directive. And in fact, they started calling those weekend meetings Crypto Sundays. So as you mentioned, the initial response to the uh, inaccurately posted or incorrectly posted Treasury statement was positive. But now that folks can dig through the details, we'll see if that sentiment holds. I'll be digging more into who is on the Crypto Sunday calls, but rest assured the Digital Currency Group is in on those. So far, it looks like sentiment is still positive because Bitcoin has been climbing off of the news and broke 42K earlier this morning. No one knows if this bullish sentiment will hold, but consider this. Five years ago, Bitcoin was considered a joke by the establishment. Now, in 2022, the president of the United States is calling for all hands on deck to study crypto. That's pretty amazing and incredibly bullish. Go ahead and comment down below on who you think are on the Crypto Sunday calls. And go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.